Welcome to Clear Golf's Tour Secrets. I'm David Gregory. And I'm Paul Homersham from Clear Golf. We're going to share with you some secrets behind the way that the world's top golfers manage the way around the golf courses and plan their shot strategy. I just wanted to spend a little bit of time just explaining a little bit about how Green Book illustrations as used by professional tournament golfers around the world and to give you an idea about what it is they're looking at and what the information means and a little bit about how that might be used. Just in order to demonstrate that, I've actually got a, one of our illustrations of the, of the 18th hole in the old course at St Andrews, which was most recently used for the Alfred Dunhill Lynx Championship this year. We also provided illustrations similar to this when the Open Championship was held back at St Andrews. And I think that was the first time green information had been used at an Open Championship of this sort. Just to quickly go through some of the features, the outline of the green is this dark green line here. The black line indicates the edge of the fairway. These little black dots are sprinkler heads. Those are added to help players and caddies locate themselves on the green. It's just a useful reference point. You'll notice there's a grid overlaid over the, over the surface of the green. This grid is measured out in yards. It's just going to blow it up a little bit. So each one of these small grey squares is a yard and the larger green lines are a five yard grid. Corresponding to that, these blue numbers indicate how many yards on from the front edge of the green the grid lines are. So this, is, this line here is 20 yards on, this side is 25, etc. The grid is quite important in that players and and caddies for tournament rounds get given uh, pin sheet information and they're told the location of the pin on the green in terms of the number of paces which is typically yards how many paces on from the front edge of the green they are and from the left or right hand side so they may have a pin location of 20 yards on and you know seven yards off of the left so they will work 20 yards up and count seven yards in from the left edge and they'll be able to locate the pin in this spot and they then know that's where the pin is uh, for that day so that's what the grid's all about so what do the arrows show the arrows show the direction of fall in an area on the green and i'll just zoom in a little bit each of these arrows point exactly downhill so if you are to play a putt directly up the line of an arrow it would be a straight uphill putt with no break Similarly, if you were putting downhill, down the, down the line of one of these arrows, there would be no break. So they're the perfect downhill line. Obviously, if you're putting across these arrows and they're coming from the right, the ball is going to break from right to left. Um, so they indicate direction of fall. The light grey lines are contour lines. They actually join points of an equal height on the green surface. Um, no different to contours on maps. So they actually join up points on the green that are, that are of the same height. You can see the differences between the contours indicate steepness. So in this area of the green, it's quite steep. The contours are very close. And when they spread out, the, uh, the green's much flatter. And in this little, this little area here, there are no contours. So it's a very flat area of the green, the flattest part of the green just here. One of the features we've introduced to tournament golf is the colouring of these arrows dependent on their steepness and severity of them. So purple arrows are the steepest, going through maroons into the reds, which are the next steepest, then through the oranges to the slightly muddy greens and through to the greens and the, and the brighter greens are in fact the, um, the flattest um, of the arrows. Um, so instantly um, looking at this a hole, you can see the, the steep bank on the back right feeding down onto the green. Um, and a very, very steep um, drop-off at the front of the green. This is about the Valley of Sin, um, just at the front of the green at St Andrews. Um, and so you can very quickly get a feel for the shape of the green. Um, you can quite a quick understanding of, of uh, the contours and, and slopes on the green.